Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 17 Science. This is Experiment 174 in Van Cleve's book, Energy Change. This is a neat demonstration of the principle of potential energy and kinetic energy and the interconversion of, of, of the two. In order to set this experiment up, you, I suggest um, a couple of rulers. You need, you need um, one ruler uh, for sure, and, and I recommend two rulers for reasons that I'll say in a second. This is a pencil. This is a piece of a roll of masking tape. And uh, then I have uh, a marble. And then I have a little Dixie cup, and I've cut a little square into the Dixie cup for reasons that will become clear here in, in just a second. So uh, in order to set up um, then this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create an inclined plane. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to set my ruler underneath the pencil like this. I'm going to set up my Dixie cup um, at the end, and then with my other ruler, I'm going to line it up so that the Dixie cup is about on the one inch mark. So I'm not sure how well on the video you can see, but one inch is here, two, three, oops, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven to the edge of the table from where I'm set up. Um, and then in order to do this demonstration, I'm going to take uh, the marble. I'm going to start it at the top of my inclined plane. I'm going to let it roll down the inclined plane and let it strike against the cup, and then we'll watch how far the cup um, the cup moves. Okay, so here we go. So, ready? Three, two, one. Uh, about two inches. Not bad. So, so what happened here, right? So as the marble is sitting here on the top of this inclined plane, the, the potential energy uh, of the marble is directly related to its mass, um, and that potential energy well, is, is converted into kinetic energy, kinetic energy being the energy of motion. Um, and so as, as it moves then, the, the positional energy, that is the potential energy here, is converted into kinetic energy, and the molecule and the marble moves, uh, and it impacts again and moved about two inches. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same demonstration, but now with my masking tape. Okay, so I'm going to effectively do what? Then I'm going to set it up exactly the same. We've got our cup position with our, uh, with our ruler uh, on the one inch mark. But, but now my, my incline plane is higher, right? So the, the marble is at a higher point relative to the table than it was when I had set up this experiment with the with the pencil. So let's see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Almost <laughs> off the table, right? Or off the table. Why? What's what's going on? Let's do it one more time. Three, two, one. The potential energy of the marble is much higher because uh, because the so the potential energy is is dependent upon the mass but the mass of the marble is the same in the two setups and so the difference then is the height relative to the to the zero point or the height relative uh, in this case to the table and so the height when I'm using the masking tape is obviously much much higher than when I'm using the pencil and what that means is that the object then has more potential energy which means there's more energy to be converted into kinetic energy, which means it rolls down faster, and it means there's more energy than to impact the cup, right? Because that kinetic energy, that, that momentum of, of the marble as it rolls down the inclined plane strikes the edge of the cup, and then in the first case, it moved it about two inches, but in the, sec in the second case, it moved it off the table, so more than six inches. Um, off the table. So again, very, very cool experiment, very easy to set up. Um, the kids will enjoy doing it. Um, and it's a great illustration of, of the difference uh, between potential energy and kinetic energy. It gives you an opportunity uh, to talk about how energy um, can move from one form to another, right? Clearly the potential energy moves to kinetic energy. For the more advanced students, you can talk about um, the, the question of is the conversion 100%? Is all of the potential energy being converted into kinetic energy? No, it's not, right? Because there's some friction as the marble travels down. So some of that energy is being lost to friction. Um, and, and other forces are acting on it. That's the easiest one, I think, for the, for the students um, to see. But energy uh, moves from one form to another. And, and so in this case, we have, again, potential energy moving to kinetic energy. Other examples of energy um, changing forms. Gasoline that powers our cars. And the, the gasoline is combusted in the, in the engine, right? And so you have then the chemical energy 
of the bonds of the gasoline molecules are being combusted and, and converted into carbon dioxide and water and, and maybe potentially other things uh, as well. And that, um, that, that chemical energy is, is being changed forms. Um, and then that, that uh, then energy is being used mechanically to power uh, the car. And so uh, energy is all around us um, and, and potential kinetic energy is, is a good illustration uh, of that basic, uh, basic idea. This is a fun and easy experiment. This is Cycle 2, Week 17 Science.